Hello, hello, it's Carrie with Lemia Fox. I'm here, I've been working on these little Christmas journals. So I've sewn in the signatures on seven of the eight books that I have been working on. This is the last one that needs to have the signatures sewn in. I wanted to do this kind of to show how I am sewing my signatures in. And um, before I do that, um, I wanted to show you kind of the tools that I'm using. It's not high tech or anything. So what I have here is my little piece of watercolor paper. And I have this piece, um, a piece of, of um, it's, it's an off cut piece of a file folder. This is what I'm using for uh, the pages. Now, this piece is the width of the spine. The width of the spine is one and three quarters inch. This is what I've got <clears throat> that I've made up. I know doesn't look it, it 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 isn't pretty. The other thing that I have is I have um, a little pokey tool and a needle. The other thing that I like to use is. I like to use these little little mini clippies that I can put onto the pages and I'll show you that in a second. I, um, I'm using these bigger clippies to, uh, I'm going to be putting these in, using these to kind of center my, um, my guide here for poking the holes out. And I'm using this little bulldog clip to, um, I use this to hold onto my thread as I'm sewing. And I like this because it hold, it clamps onto that. Whereas these guys, there's holes and sometimes it can get, you know, it doesn't always work. With these little bulldog clips, they hold it and it stays. But I'll show you that in a minute. And I've, uh, obviously I've used my scissors to cut my uh, thread and I'll pop these away. Okay, I am going to show you. So today I am doing, um, I'm doing five. I usually do just three, but I wanted to do five. Um, it's a five hole pamphlet stitch, I think is what it's called. And this is kind of the first time I've done it. So I think it looks really fabulous. I like the look of it, and I hope that, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys think so too. I'm going to go ahead and open her up, open up the book, and show you how I'm doing this. So I'm gonna set those aside, and I'm gonna put these guys over here as well. Set them aside, and I'm going to take my my guide, now, oh, I was gonna say, this is nine inches tall because the size of this book is nine inches. So, once I get the holes into here where I want them, what I'll do is I'll take my folded piece of, the, that's the size of the, my folded piece that is the size of the pages, and I will center it on, and then I, um, I marked them. I marked where the holes needed to be and that's, that's how I made this and then I just poked the holes. So that's how I make this. Alrighty. Enough instruction, right? I'm going to put this here, clip this onto here. And on either end. I don't know how I do it. I have these lines. You can see it. It's all clear across, and I just felt like I was crooked. So I put these these lines here so that I could just kind of keep my holes focused in on, on the center of that line. So that's kind of what I've done. Oh, the other thing that I'm doing is because these kind of this is my closure. It kind of gets in the way as I'm doing this. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to wrap it around. I'll just 
kind of make it so that it's not flipping around. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put the pop the holes in. So I'm just using the guide and going ahead and putting in the holes. I don't want my big head to get in the way. I'm trying to center it in on those holes on my line. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing okay. I am super excited about Christmas this year. I'm trying to get more super excited about Christmas this year, I guess. I know this is going to be so boring. <laughs> Watching somebody poke holes is not... Um, a really important thing to remember when you are putting your signatures in is to remember to open them and look at them and make sure that they are right side up. All of your pages are where you want them to be. Um, Cause of course, when you're making a junk journal, you have pages that are different sizes or whatever. And you want to make sure, so I hope, I hope that they're pretty straight in there cause you can definitely see when on the back side, you can definitely see. Let's look at our first signature. So uh, for me, when I am putting together a book, I like to organize and decide what my front cover of each of my signatures is gonna be. And I do like putting cardstock at the front because I just do. But I've seen others where they don't do that and that's, I, I like that too, and I might get into doing that so that, you know, right now I've just been, I don't know, I've got this brain <laughs> that thinks that everything has to be exact in each of the signatures. Obviously, it doesn't have to be that way, and I just need to break out of that mold. But here, so here you can see I've got these, my signatures um, in the order that I want them to be in. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to start with the first signature. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And I'm opening up the pages, make sure that all of the sheets are exactly how I want them to be. I might shift some things and, and uh, make sure that it's all pointed the way that I want it to be. Um, there's something that has happened where like, um, <laughs> it's annoying as I'll get out, <laughs> but where you sometimes like as you're putting in your papers in, sorry, I'll, I'll kind of show where like one of them might be like this. And so you go and you sew it in and then all of a sudden you have this page that's coming out because, because it wasn't in properly and I hate when that happens because it's like ugh do you sew it back in? What are what are you gonna do? Okay, so I've got these in exactly how I want them. I'm going to take my guide. And another tip is that when you're doing this, you'll notice that I have marked it top and top so that's really important even when you measure and you are the best and maybe you have laser eyes and you can just do it exact and I mean maybe I need to get that skill if you've got it I'd love it but um, I just cannot <laughs> for the life of me make things straight and so um, it's always I don't know, off just a little bit. So I always make sure to mark top 
put the top here, put the top there. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of something. That's another tip. I mean, I don't know if anybody wants any of my tips, but I'm giving them. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, so I've clipped that on and I'm going to go ahead and poke my holes. It is getting a little bit hard to tell where these holes are because uh, obviously this has been through five times eight. This is the last set, so about 40, or thir 35, it has, I have used this for 35 signatures already. Ooh. Alrighty. So once I've done that, go ahead and pop this here. I'm gonna take these and I'm scoot them down and mush them down like this. And that does kind of help to hold some of these papers. You want them to stay pretty, pretty secure in there while you're doing this. You don't want them to shift around. I've got my needle. <laughs> I was just thinking, oh no, what did I do with my needle? Okay, and I'm taking one strand. Oh, so I am using just some regular embroid embroidery floss. So what I did is I measured it out four times like this. One, two, three, four. It's roughly measured. That's what I've done. And I'm taking each strand. So I'm going to take one of these. So I've got five of these all prepared. And I'm going to take one and I'm going to thread the needle. Okay. That takes precision work there. I'm not leaving much of a of a tail here because as you thread it through, you don't want it to get caught. So I'm not leaving very big of a tail here. And I start in the middle, in the middle of the middle. I'm gonna put my needle through, go to the middle, the first. The reason why I do this from front to back is because I can, um, for me, it's easier. I guess you could go from back to back to front, but for me, it's I feel like it's so much easier to go from front to back. So, knowing your first signature, you know you're going to go to the first a hole on the left side in the middle. That's where I'm going. Okay, and then I'm going to pull this up. I hope I'm in screen, and you can see I've, I'm leaving a tail. I'm gonna leave a tail about this long, right about here, okay? And once I know where that tail is gonna be, I'm going to put my little clippy here, okay? I hope that I can do this so that you guys can see this. It's not always, anyway, hopefully y'all know what I'm saying. So you can kind of see the holes here, um, and I'm gonna go, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are staying on the, this is the first set of holes. There's, uh, I'll kind of make this so you can see it. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five here. I hope you can see that. You can. It's kind of hard to see, probably it's hard to see on camera but they're out there. So I'm gonna go to the, from the middle, I'm gonna go up to the next hole up. So up one hole up this way, okay? And I'm gonna go up to this hole here and thread it, do it through here, okay? And then, <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is where it gets hard. You know, this is where the hard work begins. Okay, so then I'm gonna go down through the top, go down through the, the hole at the top and catch the hole in the back right here, the first hole here, right here. So that's 
That's the next one right here. Oop. Don't get caught on the pages. You don't want to get caught around this either. And you're making sure that you're pulling pretty, not super tight. You don't want to, you don't want your, um, your tail to kind of get pulled. You know, you don't want that to get pulled so that it pulls out, obviously. But you're going to want to kind of keep a tight hold on here. Now, what I've found is that when I do this with the five holes, um, that is that once I get past this point, once I come back down in, sorry, that's what I mean. I'm going to come back through here. And if you pull it tight, what I found is that, and I hold it up here. I hope you guys can see this. When I come back through here, it's not as hard, but I do kind of try to watch where my needle is. And of course, it's going to prove me wrong here. Okay, so if I go straight up through... Um, there it's, it can be, I made that look easy. It's not always so easy, <laughs> but now I can take this clippy off because it's pretty secure in there. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to go through that hole that this one is in right here. And I do, as I do that, I'm going to make sure I'm gonna look over here where that's coming out because I want to, it to come out right here. And sometimes you can shift it over, but if you make it so that it comes out as close to that original hole as possible, you get this good look as it goes down, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, as you're sewing, you don't want this to get into, you don't wanna like sometimes I've gone through and accidentally, because it's six strings, you know, there's six pieces of thread in here. You don't want to put your needle through that. You want to put your needle through that as little as possible. Okay, not at all. Keep that out of the way a little bit. I actually put it down here, but then hold it. Then I'm going to come up through this hole right here, right here, coming up through this hole and through there like that and pulling it tight and coming down through this hole and this hole here right here okay and it tight now there is a trick here sometimes you can pull this and it'll kind of get you you know super tight okay so now I'm here like this right and here's what the back looks like I'm gonna come back up here through this hole right here and and this hole here Okay, the hardest part is done. Now I'm gonna put this string right here, this, this, on this side. I'm gonna take this and because I don't wanna use, I don't wanna poke any holes in my paper, I kind of back this through just like this. Okay, through that, so I'm going through this, um, through this little here, little piece here, and I'm gonna tighten it up. Now you don't need that needle. Set that somewhere where you'll find it. <laughs> I've I've lost a needle or two on my table in my day, and I'm gonna go ahead and tie this off. Okay. So here is what you have at once you're done with that. Anyway, 
that is how I am doing this. And I will, I'm going to go ahead and finish up um, putting this together, uh, putting the pages in, putting the signatures, sewing the signatures in. Obviously with the second set, I'm gonna go to the second set of lines and the third and the fourth and the fifth and so and such and such and such and so and so. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, and I thank you all for your support and I hope that you guys are ready and wanting to, to go to my shop and look at the fun stuff that I have in my shop. I've been um, trying to get this together and we'll be posting a final flip through of these books. I'm looking around. I've got a bunch of books that I've finished sewing in and that will be available in my shop. Okay, so I will be back. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I am back and my lovely YouTube subscribers and hopefully more people. If you're not subscribed, you're going to want to subscribe. I have finished my job of of uh, sewing these signatures in and I'm just going to take this out take these off excuse me I will take these little cutie clips off and and I'm going to show you how it turned out I'll pop these in I like to put these in so I don't lose them I do not want to lose these these cute pieces. Oops. I'm going to go ahead and untie. Tie so that I can, okay, before I tie, I'm going to let you guys see that is how it turned out. Overall, I am pretty happy with it. I mean, I'm not precise, but I try to be as precise and as make it look as clean and nice as possible and if anybody could um, you know tell me how to fix my crooked eye my crooked eye that makes holes <laughs> they're crooked anyway and that is that alrighty so I have done it I've completed my sewing in of all of these guys. I'm going to ooh, go ahead and put my tools away now. Okay, so I've sewn them all in. Here's the one that I was showing you on and I will show you the rest. Here's my plaid one. Here's my, my bird with the wreath one. Here is my Santa with the Christmas tree one. We'll make these guys look pretty. But don't they, wouldn't they look pretty just sitting? Uh, I just think they're yummy. I just, I like it. And this one you can see I did with the green. Oh, on this one I did I did a red. Um, I don't. I'll, I'll put these to the side as I'm finished with them. And then this one. I'm loving these little things here that I was able to find. I've got um, green green thread. I'll pop these up here. And so you guys can see those ones. Here's the holly and the plaid. That came out pretty too. Here's my bird with the candy canes. And 
last but certainly not least, my first one that I made, and that is this one, and it has the light blue embroidery floss. So all together, I'll kind of stack these so that you can kind of see them, and I hope that you can see them. There's one, two, three, four, I guess five. Six, seven, and eight. Um, yeah, and I will be doing a flip through of these guys. Hope you are liking it. They're finished with being sewn, and I'm happy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like what I've got. Um, thank you so much. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.